as a summary, we're going to go through all the steps on how to define your protocol definition to interact with an API call. Let's go back to DataMiner just to remind ourselves of the purpose. Whenever we're going to hit the send request, we're going to send out the API request. Whatever we receive will be passed along to a displayed parameter. So we print out the response itself. Status code will be passed here. Let's go to the definition. We have our send button. Whenever we're going to click on this, we need to launch an action which will move the group to our execution queue. Remember, from the internal flow, we're going to add it to a pile of items we really want to do. And I can make sure it needs to be executed as soon as possible. The one will indicate only add it to the top whenever this group with the ID one isn't already on your list of things you need to do. What's inside our group? It's our session. It could be multiple session. In this case, we only have one and the session will define how our uh, API call needs to look like. So SL port will be able to translate it to the correct language for our API. Whenever I want to create an extra session, I can use the snippets to insert something. Let's go to protocol, HTTP, and we have a basic session in here. You can already see we need to add a unique ID. I could call it number two. I need to give it a name. Let's just provide test in this case. Uh, make sure it's a very useful name so you can uh, understand or even other integrators can understand this is the purpose of the session. We can provide a unique ID in here. Remember, this is not unique over all of the sessions, but within your session, my first connection, second connection, and so on. Give it a name. Um, also, the request itself. What do we need to do? What is the URL? where to find the or set the status code. This could be the same, all depending on your logic or what you're doing. This could stay 100. Keep in mind that you are overwriting it. And I'm going to pass it along maybe to another parameter. In this case, this one doesn't exist yet, but it gives you an idea on how to define your sessions. And this is actually all you need to know. All the other stuff is the basic structure of your protocol. I can have a timer. Timer will start to do something. What is to do? It's a group. Inside our group, we will define a session, and the session will contain all of the information required to interact with your API. So go ahead and have a try with your own API.